Hi, this is Matt Wojcik. I'm here with Mark Green, who is the head of Greener Corporation's Technical Services Division, and we're here today to talk to you about training. The Greener Corporation has been providing trainer, training for over 25 years, and we've been asked by our customers over, over the years to provide this type of service because it allowed us to pass on the knowledge and expertise that we have in setting up machinery to their employees and help them perform better in their daily jobs. Mark, maybe you can explain a little bit more about why people utilize our training services. Yeah, everyone has their own reasons, but uh, and there are many and varied. We're going to put up a graphic here uh, with some of the reasons that we've seen people want to uh, have us come in and do some training for them. Uh, and you might be able to identify with multiple uh, uh, reasons on that list. But uh, one of the biggest ones, Matt, is really because there is a, a wide gap between uh, the experience level of maintenance personnel across uh, a lot of companies, maintenance staffs, right? Sure. It's only one. There's setting up a wrapper or cutting head on a wrapper is only one of you know a thousand different things a maintenance yeah, person they, they've might got have to do. Experts in it, and this is something that's really very, very critical. Uh, there's not a lot of training platforms out there that, you know, where people are going to come in with the experience. So a lot of it is on the job uh, learning. And a lot of times that is uh, trial and error, which is not the way you want to learn, right? Sure. It's very specific for a very specific task. Yeah. So what we do is we're going to give them uh, uh, the, the basis of uh, a pers you know, the correct procedure, uh, so that everyone is doing things the same way uh, for the right reasons. And we're going to help spread that knowledge across your entire staff. Uh, that will help you reduce problems when you have your startups and changeovers. Uh, and it'll be everyone will be doing things more consistent and effectively. Uh, and we'll also teach them how to troubleshoot problems so they can quickly diagnose them and make the correct adjustments. Pardon me for a second. All right. Um, so the catalyst for, for having us in to do the training is oftentimes um, what? Usually it follows a, a catastrophic event. Right. And that's very costly. Uh, and it's unfortunate. It's when you've really identified the that lack of that knowledge base. Um, so we... By, by catastrophic event, we're talking something, what, that costs a lot of money, right? Yeah. Uh, we've had customers that have lost you know, entire uh, shifts of production uh, because uh, the personnel didn't identify the problem uh, quickly enough and uh, everything got through packaging, pack out, and loaded on onto trailers and had to be... Uh, removed, so right. it was very expensive. Yeah. And uh, many of our customers who have had us in for you know some of those reasons uh, have us in you know repeatedly uh, on a, a, like an annual basis. Mm -hmm. uh, just keep the you know, their their people sharp. You know, it does. Uh, you do have some turnover, so it's always good. You are some new people, but uh, we have a lot of re repeat. Uh, mechanics that, that go through and and each time you know they they get a, a little more uh knowledge and uh a little better every time we we go through the training right yeah we, they we get the benefit of when we do training we get to get tips and tricks from people as well uh and then when we go to the next plant we get to pass those tips and tricks on as well so we continue to learn as trainers. Yes. I mean, our, our training has really evolved, right? From the, the beginning, it was pretty much a PowerPoint presentation on ceiling theory. Uh, and, and then we identified uh, the need for really the hands-on training where we bring a training rig into your facility, 
Uh, we demonstrate the proper procedure on how to adjust that, that cutting head, uh, and everyone can see what's going on and we can control the environment that we're in. Uh, so, and then everyone, once they go, uh, they go through the training on the, the proper setup, they have to actually come up and demonstrate what they've learned, those skills. So, right. Yeah. It's when we utilize the, the training rig in the, in a conference room, uh, it's a controlled environment. We're not out on the production floor. It's an opportunity for people to get their hands on a machine to essentially play with it, mm -hmm. to see the cause and effect of turning a wrench one way versus another without having the pressure of having to get a machine up and operational in order to produce product, um, which we find to be very beneficial. And we get a lot of people in those training classes that have never actually had an opportunity to set up ceiling jaws and that's their first time. So, which obviously the advantage of that is when they have to do it out on the floor, they'll have some basis of knowledge to do that. Yes, and, and you me mentioned uh, having to do it on the floor uh, in a, a production environment. That's where we see uh, that duress come in and sure. people, uh, it's not that they, they don't necessarily know better, but they're, they're under the pressure of production, trying to make a, an adjustment and uh, they, they can be making misadjustments. So with the training, we provide a methodical approach and they will understand what each adjustment does and when to use that adjustment. Because many times, right, we see that people are making adjustments to the clearance, to heat, uh, to solve a, a symptom, and they can actually you know, solve one problem and create a, an entirely new one. Sure, sure, I, absolutely. Um, I think it's a good time to talk about the objectives that we have for our uh, training classes. Yeah, so once you go through our training, uh, as I said, you, everyone will have a uniform procedure for setting up. So everyone will be doing the things the same way. The approach will be the, the same. Uh, they'll have the uh, understanding of the wide range effects of what the adjustments are so that they're not making those misadjustments uh, to something that is presenting a, as a problem, but it's actually a symptom of a problem that's really upstream. And what I like most is they will come away with a critical thought process, meaning before they pick up a, a tool and make an adjustment, uh, we really drive home that they have to understand what they're adjusting, why they're adjusting, and we take them through a series of diagnostic tests where they check things before they adjust them. So they understand it, it needs to be adjusted, not just the approach that a lot of people take, which is, well, let me adjust this and see if this helps, if it gets better or if it doesn't get better. So in a lot of the presentations we've given this week, one of the things that we've tried to impart on people is that um, Greener Corporation's approach to what we do is not simply limited to ceiling jaws and concentrating on what, what those ceiling jaws do, but how the machine environment around those ceiling jaws all has an effect on how those ceiling jaws perform. So we like to, to, to let people know that it's a more of a comprehensive approach that uh, is, is uh, that takes care of a lot of different factors in, in the wrapper. And we have a, another graphic here that help, helps illustrate that a little bit and Mark can explain. So we've had instances where uh, people have made adjustments uh, to a cutting head and the problem was actually the, the product and it can be a uh, product, it can be the, the timing of the product, the placement of the product, and that is not something that you adjust at the cutting head, right? So if the problems are coming, let's say, out of the kitchen, uh, if you make an adjustment at the cutting head and then 
as things get lined out, and we see this often right at startup, then you've taken a, a wrapper that was set up properly. Uh, you've now changed the setup. The kitchen gets lined out, and it's back to not being uh, set up properly. And we get into this problem loop that where people are constantly making these minor tweaks and adjustments. Uh, we'll see the shift change uh, a lot as well. So getting people on, uh, giving them that understanding of what you're adjusting and when you should be adjusting it and when you should not be adjusted has really been uh, very helpful. And it, it goes to our whole process. So beyond on-site training, uh, we have taken a lot of the subject matter that we deal with for that. And over the years, we've developed a series of uh, technical papers and videos that we've put together in, in a blog post, uh, which we add to uh, several times a year uh, that encompass the same things we talk about in, in our training classes, but just maybe three minute blurb about about that yeah kind of you know bites of you know very specific items like backlash or the difference between clearance and pressure correct right. i'm gonna put the website up address up for that it's p3solutionsblog.com and uh, i encourage everyone to take a look at what's there and what kind of subjects are available uh, we have feedback on a regular basis from our customers that do uh, take a look at these things, how helpful they are. Um, yeah, it's kind of a self-help center. Uh, not that, you know, we want you to call us with your problems, but we realize that, you know, if you're somewhere in the world or a 24-hour operation, if you don't have immediate access, uh, you have somewhere where you can go, uh, or if you just have a very specific question there's there's a lot of answers up here sure so uh, I encourage you guys to take a look at that uh, I also encourage you to let your maintenance people and operators know that that resource is available to them because those are the people that really get to put those tips and tricks to use yeah a lot of times we'll hear uh, that I went on your uh, blog post I watched your videos before I was going to do an installation and I got a lot of information from it and it gave them the confidence to you know, do a successful installation and, and might have even eliminated some uh, misadjustments. Right. Well, that's all we have for you today about training. If you have any questions specifically in regards to that or anything else, uh, any of the other products and services that Greener can provide for you, please feel free to contact us and we'd be happy to take care of you. Uh, thank you for your time.